Hello, Leo. This is God right here. here to do your reading for May. The 11th through the 18th. May the 11th through the 18th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's not going to resonate with everyone, so. Do not get mad if it's not your story. Tell me more about Leo for May the 11th through the 18th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. guys are fighting having a conflict with people or with someone with another Leo <laughs> are you fighting yourself <laughs> having conflict with yourself struggling trying to make a decision about something you're, you're struggling trying to make a decision about something about this king of corn about a family situation a stable home could be about Aries or Taurus or somebody's in this energy that you're struggling to make this decision about Someone who's very grounded, um, like nice things around them, a good husband, a good wife, mar marriage material. Tell me more, tell me more. You guys want to communicate with someone. You want to start an uh, open line of communication with someone. You want a truth. You want to tell the truth? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. This is someone you're very com compassionate about. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Person very fiery. You can't tell a person what to do. They're very ladylike. They can get uh, good advice. They could be a mother. Very grounded person. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. You trying to make a decision about this person? You trying to make a decision that that you want to communicate with this person? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. You see this person very grounded. Like nice things around them. Very stable person. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. You want to commit to this person. The roles can be reversed. You want a new beginning. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. But... It's kind of hard for you to make this decision because the person that broke your heart. That's why you're in conflict with yourself, fighting yourself, making this decision. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. You want a long-term commitment. You waiting on this. You want a long-term. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. You sad about this? You stress out? Tell me more. Tell me more. You've been drinking? Some of you guys have been drinking, trying to control things. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. This is someone that you want a reunion with, or you could be married to this person, or you could be in a long-term commitment with this person, or you can already be married, and this person already married. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. It took a long time, but you want to offer this person a commitment, a stable commitment. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. You want to fight for this, or this person want to fight for you? 
tell me more. You want you want to tell this person the truth? Why you had to walk away from them, or that person might have walked walked away from you, but you want to tell that person the truth. Tell me more about this page of staff. Tell me more. Tell me more. You was hiding something. You was hiding. You were hiding something. You want to tell the truth about what, what was hidden. Or you want to tell the truth about a Pisces? Tell me more. Tell me more. You was being very deceitful. Because you were hiding something from this person. And you want to tell the truth about it. You trying to see things from a, a different point of view. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. And you got the two of swords in reverse. You haven't you haven't you're not for sure about this choice. You're not for sure. You you undecisive. You, you haven't made up your mind yet. You want this with this person. But you got it said you got a two of swords in reverse. You could have been choosing between two people. Now you don't have to choose between two. You want to tell that person the truth about something that ended. That's why you don't have to choose between two. Some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio. About a third party. You want to tell the person the truth about something ending with a third party. That's what the that's the secret that she was hiding from this person. A third party. You're single now. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Not worried about anything. No money. You got money. You took a break. You took a break from that person. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Now you want to take a leap of faith. You want a new beginning and you're excited about this. Tell me more. 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 You're excited. You're very excited. You got the seven of swords. It's some kind of deception. It's, some, it's something else. Something else you're hiding. Tell me more. Tell me more. What is they hiding? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Is there somebody else? You waiting? Is there another third party somewhere? Tell me more. Tell me more. You feel burdened by this? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. You got two of swords in uh, reverse. So, you still have not made your mind up. You got two, two of swords in reverse. You haven't made up your mind yet. <laughs> tell me more. Tell me more. This person can be very bossy. You can't tell a person what to do. Or you could be married to this person. You got an emperor and a hyphen. Some of you guys are dealing with the Aries and the Taurus. You, ha you, you haven't made up your mind up. You don't know which one you want. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. You got the queen of wands here. So my very fiery. Like to be seen. Like nice things. There's a lot of people is, is, is in this reading. So somebody got more than three mates. They're being very deceptive. You want a brand new beginning? You want to pour your emotions out to this queen of wands? But you're still hiding two other people. You got the uh, Aries and the Taurus. Tell me more. Tell me more. You want to fight for this relationship with this queen of wands? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. And this person can be very loving, caring, nurturing. 
Some of you guys are dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you want to fight for. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Yep, this person live at a distance. Tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, you want to move to common waters with this person. Tell me more. Yeah, you see this person as the sun. You can have, you see a very abundance with this person. You get your overall energy. Overall energy for Leo. It's a lot of, a lot of decisions that you have to make and you undecided. You got the seven of pentacles. This is someone that you plant your seed already. You want fast movement with this person? This is someone you already been already plant your seed with. You're trying to be patient about it. Some of you guys deal with another Leo. So this is someone you took a break from. Bottom of the deck, you have the six of cups. This is someone you've been knowing for your past life. Or you think about the simple pleasure that you have with this person. A lot of, I see a lot of deception going on. I see a lot of people here. Somebody's a player. <laughs> Somebody's a player. <laughs> but one that you really want to talk to, I see one that you really got your mind on. The other ones maybe just uh, your side your side piece of side chick or whatever. But I think it's one that you really want to uh, pursue. If you like my readings, give me a thumbs up. And thank you, guys.